Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Toto. I'm gonna be showing him how to play a really cool, you know, giant deck today. So, you know, stay tuned for that. It's gonna be awesome. And you know, since it's Friday and all, Hamp is gonna sing a song at the end. So, if you wanna hear that, stay tuned for that as well, you know. Alright, bye. Hey guys, Hampshire back with another Clash Royale YouTube video. Hope you're all doing amazing this wonderful Friday. It's so much sunny light outside and I'm really happy and I'm really tired because I just woke up, guys. Look at this. We have something here. We got a special offer. What could it be? Oh, unlock the new card. Well, I already got it, though. So, oh, look at this, guys. Oh, this is not good for my wallet. This is not good for my wallet. Legendary King's Chest. Two of them. Two of them. We get 55k in the other one as well. You know... Let's do it, guys. What the hell? Why not, guys? Let's do it. Let's buy the first one right here. Come on. All right, let's see what's inside the first one here. So it's going to be some gold, of course. Uh, let's take uh, the... Doesn't matter here because it's maxed out. So I'm going to take the, the one with most cards. So, I will, so it will convert into gold. More gold. All right. So doesn't matter here. I'm going to take bats. I don't know. I like the left side a bit more. Um, I'm just going to go here with the Mini Pekka, as I said. Getting more gold out of that, and we can take the uh, yeah, of course, the barbarian hut. Yes, some more gold there again, guys. And uh, look at this, guys. All right, all right. So we get 23 of these. I I'm just gonna go with the with the witches here. So it's gonna be oh, that's gonna be tw ooh, 22k. Look at that, guys. Wow, just for some epics. All right, so that is gonna be a lot of gold. So let's see what which legendaries it it is because I have a lot of maxed out legendaries. So I'm gonna go with the Royal Ghost definitely because my Night Witch is already maxed out. So let's go with the Royal Ghost. There we go, everybody. Let's buy the next one as well. Let's do it. Let's see. Hopefully we can buy more. We can buy more. We can buy more of them. Alright, this is insane. We, we can buy like a lot of these chests if we want to. But I just, you know, bought a lot of <laughs> chests in Clash of Clans as well. So I'm pretty broke right now. I'm not gonna buy anything else uh, after this one. So, uh, alright. So, Heal Spell. Ah, cool. Let's go ahead and take this one, and uh, let's go ahead and take Expo. I don't want, you know, to drag this out too long, so let's see here. Let's just take the Flying Machine. Let's go with the... Oh, of course I'm gonna take the Barrel here, uh, because I still need these cards. So, uh, Barbarian Barrel, loop a tap up, uh, 10k, 10 more k, guys, that's amazing, that's amazing. Look at all the gold right now. Okay, so what kind of Legendary do we want? Which one do we want? It's gonna be, it's gonna be, alright, so I'm gonna take the Magic Archer. I'm not a big Sparky fan, uh, so I'm gonna take the Magic Archer in this case. So I actually like this, because uh, there's now higher percent, you know, chance to get a Legendary that is not maxed out. Because oh, I have a lot of maxed out Legendaries, look at this guys, look at this. We have the E-Wiz in this deck, and we have... Uh, um, the Lumberjack, Graveyard, uh, we have the Lava Hound, we have the, uh, yeah, Miner, Princess, Ice Wizard, Night Witch, Bandit, and, uh, yeah, and the Log, of course, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's not why you're here. This is one of the best decks I've played in such a long time. I got 12-1 and 1 in the Grand Challenge the first time I tried it, 12-0 and 0 in the Classic Challenge for the first time I tried it as well, and it's just so, so good. And it was featured on the Clash with Ashes channel as well, as one of the most balanced decks for trophy pushing at the moment. So what we're gonna do right now is just go ahead and play on ladder with this deck, because it's just so freaking great, and I will explain why during the game. And also, don't miss the singing out of today. It's gonna be Walk on Water with 30 seconds to more. Yes, so let's jump into it, guys. All right, guys, first battle for today. Let's see what we can make happen here. So this is a really good starting hand. I always want to start with either my Spear Goblins or my Bats in the back. So let's go with Spear Goblins on the, uh, just on the bridge to see if we can bait out the Zap or something. And yes, we could, which means we're going to go Prince, which means we're going to go Bats, and we are going to be ready with a Poison. A fast, he can also. I really wanted, you know... Um, Alright, well that's okay, that is okay. We still have the Goblin Gang as a Swarm unit because he just used the Zap. So, uh, I'm not gonna overextend here guys, I'm just gonna go with a slow Giant because uh, we did, I think we did a little bit better in that exchange. I'm not 100% sure though. So, he just used the Zap, uh, he might be able to have it back in 2 or 3, no, 3, I don't know, not really, ah, really don't matter. Let's go again guys, let's go with Spear Goblins behind, maybe we can bait out the Zap again. So, uh, this is okay, I would say. Let's just go here with the poison. I think it's gonna be okay. Uh, he's gonna have to use the zap again, which is cool. We can now use the, the bats uh, if we want to. Uh, we're not gonna break through. We're just gonna get the poison value out of that poison. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. So, he, we're just feeling each other out here. So, um, he's playing some kind of... Um, his archer, prince, and... Is it a giant deck, though? I don't, I, I'm not sure. 
Uh, let's do this. He just used the sap. All right, so this is gonna be it, guys. He just used sap. You know what that means? Let's just go, guys. Let's just go. Let's just go. All right, never mind. We don't have to overextend. We're gonna take that tower easily, easily, guys. We're gonna easily take it. So there we go, guys. And now we don't have to care too much. Uh, let's just sap here. Let's just sap and nothing else, actually. Uh, we can also go with Spear Goblin for that Collector, which is also totally fine, hopefully. Come on, Spear Goblins, just Spear Goblins. Now he had to use a Night Witch for it, so that was really good. We can go with the Dark Prince as well to clean up this uh, mess. No, to clean up this Night Witch, that's not a mess, you know. At this point, I'm just gonna go Jant. I'm just gonna go Jant right here, let's go with a Battery. Battery Zaps, and you know, if it's gonna Zap, I'm just gonna go again with my Gabling Gong. And I'm gonna be ready with, you know, stuff like stuff. So probably, yeah, look at that guys, we're just gonna take care of everything. Now I'm just gonna go all out on the other side guys, uh, just because he used the golem like he did, the go 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 golem like he did. Alright, so let's just go here with the dark prince uh, to do something, and if he ignore, he ignore, <laughs> if he ignores the uh, the prince there, I think we're gonna go for a weaker. But, you know, we can make this guy kite. No, we can't. <laughs> but we got the three crown. Alright, first battle is gonna be a win against the golem deck, guys. Always opposite lane push if you see a golem is placed uh, pretty much with this deck. Alright, let's do one more. Oh, by the way, it's gold rush, guys. It's gold rush at the moment, as you can see on the towers, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna start by splitting my bats in the far back here. Alright, so let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna do a little goblin gang split. What did you know? We can do with plan. So I'm gonna do the same thing. That what I, that was what I was saying. That is, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing. Alright, he's gonna just split a lot of things there in the back. He's gonna have a skeleton army as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna go DP. Dark Prince and maybe front this, you know, I think he... He just used the Goblin Gang, right? So I think it would be pretty cool to go with uh, with a Prince. I think a Prince is going to be appropriate, actually. Yes, it is. It is going to be appropriate. Perfect. Nice. We're going to get the charge in. Nice. Look at this, guys. Perfect. Now, the Executioner, though. The freaking Executioner is the one that we have to take care of. All right. But we look at this. We're going to take the tower. We're going to take the tower, definitely. And also do damage to the Executioner. Nice. So 200 gold already in the pocket. Um, let's just go here with spear goblins, let's go with bats, let's go with a zap as well Because we don't want to, you know, what we want to do is what we don't need to do Let's just go here guys, let's just go here, taking it easy here Alright, everything is working out for us guys Alright, we're untouched, we already got a tower and we're untouched Alright, this is some kind of bridge spam deck with an executioner Hmm, hmm, interesting, interesting indeed So is the second battle here gonna be a win? I'm not sure, you tell me I'm gonna start slow push with the giant in the far back. I think we have the upper hand in Elixir as well. So he's gonna start the Dark Prince. You know, just... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go regular Prince. I'm gonna have to go ahead and put down Spear Goops as well. Spear Goops, everybody. Let's go ahead and use the Zap for these guys. We're gonna miss one of the Spear Goblins. Doesn't really matter. Uh, he's gonna use the Tornado. It's a, it's a little bit early, I would say. I'm gonna still annihilate your push. You're not gonna be able to have a counter push coming down. So that was an unnecessary, I would say, unnecessary uh, little tornado. Anyways, now we can front this with a giant in the pocket, and that is a really... That's one of my favorite moves, guys. One of my favorite moves. There we go. Let's just go here, guys. Let's also go with bats. Let's go with a uh, prince. Let's go with a zap. Zapping these guys. Nice. Taking care of the barbs. Now, okay, we're not gonna break through or do any damage, but we can, you know, split our pushes a little bit here, so... Alright, he's gonna get through here with his uh, connection with the background. Come on, uh, he is going to get there. Uh, we are gonna just go here again with the prince. Nice, not a prince, but the giant. Alright, he's gonna use his tornado, so I don't know why I used my bats like I did. We used my bats like I did. He's gonna have to go all out. I'm just gonna go prince on the other side because we have such a you know huge advantage right here. I'm gonna miss the sap I'm, because I'm such a bad batter, but I'm, I'm, I'm a bad player. I'm a, so at this point, I'm just gonna go with the DP again, taking care of the Executioner, hopefully can we take care of the Executioner, that, that would be, okay, anyways, we won second battle. Let's do one more battle and then I'm gonna sing a song at the end of the episode, so stay tuned for that. Last battle for today, guys, and then I'm gonna sing a song at the end of the episode, as I always do on Fridays, yes, because it's fun, guys. So I'm gonna start with my Spear Goblins here, because that's one of the best moves in this deck, and also, you know, go with Bats behind. Alright, so here we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go all out, I think we're just gonna wait for... Yeah, I'm just gonna poison here. I'm just gonna poison. There we go. Hopefully I could have gone with... Yeah, alright. So here I'm not gonna go with anything. I was just about to go with my, you know, uh, with my bats. They would have died to the ice golem. So that was good. That was really good. I didn't go with that. 
So at this point, I'm gonna have to go with something. So let's just go with a prince. Let's go with a prince and let's go with... Let's also go with bats. Nice, there we go. And let's go with spear goblins. He's gonna have to zap. That is good, guys. I just baited out the zap and that's good. Now, we're gonna just wait until he puts down that collector again, guys. We don't want him to pump up. Never give them the elixir advantage <coughs> with this deck because it's such a cheap deck for such a... Robust deck, <laughs> if you understand what I mean. So let's just go giant again. I don't care if it's the other side now. I'm gonna be ready again with the poison. So I'm gonna go poison really early, getting the bandit as well. Hopefully we will push the bandit back into the poison. We won't. So, but we are gonna get the shield of the prince, the dog prince. Hopefully, no. Yes, we are gonna get the shield of the dog prince of the shield of the dog prince. So I'm gonna go with my dog prince on my own. Okay, so he is going to connect here, and I am unfortunately you have a naya. Well played, sir. Well deed in played. Alright, so we're gonna do some splash damage. We're still in the lead. If I were him, I would go and zap that, and that was good. That was good for us. Now we can just use the Goblin Gang without having to worry. I don't think he has, like, a big spell. I don't think he has the log, I mean. So, which side should we go for? Which side shall we go for? Let's just go again, guys. Let's just, you know, let's this time, let's do this. Because he just used the sap. So let's be aggressive. Uh, not too predictive all the time. Let's just go with the prince. Nice. He's gonna be, you know, a little bit distracted here. Uh, so that is good. Let's just go with the DP again. Nice. Uh, you're right. Let's, be, let's go with bets. He's probably gonna, he's just gonna zap that. Totally fine. Uh, are you gonna zap? I'm just gonna go with spear goblins because, yeah, he's gonna zap. There we go. Nice. And we're, we will also take care of his collector. I think. I think at least. I'm not sure. Let's just go here. He just used the sap, so I'm just gonna, you know, be relentless right here with the Goblin Gang and everything. So let's just go with the Dark Prince again. We're gonna take the second tower. He's gonna use the sap again. Let's just put down that. And this is the beauty of the deck, guys! You can just spam. Once you see that sap is used or the log or whatever, you can just spam them cards and go hell and go hell. Go ahead and win this battle. Look how much damage we are doing. We're not gonna be able to. All right. Uh, hands down that is gonna be it guys thank you so much for watching today and as always stay tuned for another episode and you know i'm gonna sing a song so stay tuned for that it's gonna be walk on water by 30 seconds tomorrow 30 seconds tomorrow thank you so much guys all right peace out guys see you in the next one What you're fighting for A bloodlust and a holy war Listen up, hear the patriot shout Times are changing In the end, the choice was clear Take a shot in the face of fear Fist up in the fire and light Times are changing Do you believe that you can walk on water? Do you believe that you can win this fight tonight? Look at the sky, see a dying star A white light sets a man on fire Making love with the devil hurts Times are changing A thin line, the whole truth Far right, the left fuse Breaking all those promises made Times are changing Do you believe that you can walk on water? Do you believe that you can win this fight tonight? Do you believe that you can walk on water? Do you believe that you can win this fight tonight?